Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And last week I... what was I doing? I was looking for marshmallow root. It took me a while. I had to find... Because we identified a swamp uh, fairly close to home. And um, in the end, what I had to do is that... Um, I did go on, I mentioned I was going to go on a online site that um, if you give it the seed that you're on, it will give you likely locations for things. So it told me that a swamp could be at a particular set of coordinates. I looked there on journey map and um, to do that, what I did basically was try and find the coordinates, put my um, cursor over it. And then down here, at um, just above the the icons, it tells you what it is. So it was basically I spent about half an hour just running my cursor over different bits and seeing if it changed to um, to a swamp. So I finally found a marsh. It was a marsh. I think that's what it was called. Um. I think it was that one. No, 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 it wasn't that. It was um it was some it was called it was called a, an actual marsh. I can't remember what it was, but it was very far away. Okay, it's 4000 4000 blocks away basically. So it was really far. It was it was something marsh. I'm not I can't remember the name of the biome. But I went and searched a very wide area and in the end I found two flowers. It took me about three um, three hours real time to find these two flowers, right? And um, so I came home. Luckily you can plant... Oh, lag. You can plant stuff. So I came home and I planted it and this is what it looked like. A flower with um, pink bits on it. And um, so yeah, you can plant it, you can bone meal it. I broke it and I got the marshmallow root. So like I said, luckily you can plant them when you come home. So you don't have to depend on trying to get, um, having to find another marsh for it to grow. But um, but yeah, that was, that was painful. That was extremely painful. You would think it would have been easier to find, but it wasn't. So there's that. So we can... Oh, wrong thing. We can claim... We can claim that quest. Rustic. One of these is to claim everything. This. Ooh. So I should have... Oh, did it open? Oh, interesting. It opened up the loot, qu the, the loot box for me. No. I don't think there was a loot box. There was, let me see, rustic. Okay, so it just took everything. I wonder what happens if you have a loot box. We'll have to find out next time, if I remember. Okay, so advanced alchemical condenser. Place your condenser down and place the three retorts on the left, right, and back of the condenser. Left, right, back. Okay, so the front would be clear. If you have placed everything correctly, clicking the condenser should open the menu. You can now create advanced elixirs. Okay. So let's make an... Ad ad I think I looked at this recipe and it's fairly simple. It's nothing nothing major. So, um, advanced... Oh, that's hard to see, but yeah, they're both here. The condenser is nether bricks a block of iron and a bucket do we not have nether bricks we have oh can we break can you break down nether bricks no you can't we have nether rack all right let's take out a stack of nether rack and also I came back, I've, I've noticed this a lot. If I come back from a long journey, um, the, the coal or whatever, whatever, whatever I have in the furnace to operate it, it disappears. I have no idea why it does that. 
All right, let's get that going. Um, speed upgrade. We should make some more speed upgrades. Uh, speed. As which one? Is that magical? Yes. Let's see. Okay, how do I make that again? All right, uh, magical is that we have three that should be okay yeah that's better right so um another brick that goes in the box here that should be plenty oh what else have we got in here stuff let's just take all the stuff out clear that Put all of that in. You probably need those things. Was it cohash? Cohort? Cohosh. Is that a real thing, I wonder? I know horsetail is a real thing. Uh horsetail. Oh we have tons of that. Can you pr can you plant the cohosh? I wonder. Do I have a hoe? Um, yes. Fertile soil? Let's see if we can plant this stuff, because we might need it. Um, let's break this. Now, uh, put in the soil and put in the cohosh oh it does grow okay cool that's good to know right um alchemical whatever it is alchemical all right we have the alchemic ro uh, alchemic retort advanced alchemic condenser and advanced alchemic retort so you want what we oh block of iron do we not have a block of iron okay try again would help if I could spell I say that every week I can't spell we know I can't spell Move items. We need one of those, and it's three retorts, isn't it? Uh, three retorts. One, two, three. All right, so it says you put it down, and then... Oh, the lag. If nothing else, this pack is quite laggy. All right, so you put down... You put down the condenser, and then you put the retorts on the left, on the right, and on the back. Nope. Does it... Okay, maybe I need to... Um, uh, where's my pickaxe? There you go. Step back. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I know what I've done wrong. Those pipes should be going into the condenser. So I should be facing the condenser. Why am I keep going backwards? More fingers this morning. There you go. Right. Show recipes. So you can have chamomile and beef, a marshmallow root, some kind of um some kind of heat source, and that will give you elixir of instant health. Honeycomb, cohosh, and horsetail. And a oh yeah, you need a glass bottle. Uh, elixir of regeneration. What else? 
wither. Ooh, need soul sand for that and death stalk mushroom. Elixir of wither. Oh, you get different strengths. So horsetail would give you strength one. Marshmallow root would give you strength two. Strength two. With a oh god, with a two, lasts for a less amount of time. But I'm guessing it's stronger, because with a will give you it for a minute and a half, and this is only twenty two seconds. Night vision, night vision for eight minutes. Wow. Spider eye and moon cap mushroom. Okay, interesting speed. So, um, so yeah, it's just giving you different, different things. Fire resistance, health boost. Interesting. And then you've got simple alchemy. How do you make that? Alchemical condenser. You need white terracotta. Specific much, huh? All right, but okay. That's interesting. Do we have to actually um, make anything? Uh, claim. Right. Yeah, we have to make an elixir of haste. Haste 2. Alright, let's have a look then. Haste was a pale yellow. That what? No, fire resistance. These are all fire health boost, health boost, haste, haste, haste two. Okay, so you need redstone, iron nugget, core root, marshmallow root, and a glass bottle. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Okay, let's open this. Uh, TNT and a redstone torch. Nothing that we will find useful. Maybe at the end of the series I might just blow stuff up. How much TNT do I have? I wonder. I have a whole stack of TNT. Maybe I might just blow stuff up. I don't know. Right. Um... <coughs> You want an iron nugget. Let's see if we have any nuggets. We already have an iron nugget. We need um, redstone. We need um, coal. Red coal? No, not red coal. Just some kind of coal. Alright, let's take that out. We need a glass bottle. Alright, let's make one of those. Oh, no. Oh, magical slow glo snow globe. Um, okay, I don't know why... It didn't want to take it from us before, but there you go. Okay, so put a piece of coal in there. Um, blazing trail. Chili peppers. We haven't grown any chili peppers yet, have we? This one, haste two. All right, redstone, iron nugget, root core, marshmallow. All right, let's put in our glass, redstone, iron nugget, root core, marshmallow. Um, coal is not going to do it. What does it take? What does it take? It doesn't actually tell you. Is it wood? Oh, this might... Um, yeah. Um, what do you call this thing? Bane miner doesn't work on an empty hand. 
So there's that. Quite a big tree. I didn't realise how big it was. And there's got to be... There you go. There's the other tree. That's why it didn't break. Thank you. Get an apple. Collected everything? I think so. Right, let's make sure we have the recipe right. Redstone, iron nugget, core root, marshmallow. Redstone, iron nugget, core root, marshmallow. Um, it's not coal. Mm. Nope. Does it use blaze powder? Maybe it's blaze powder. We have blaze powder, right? I can't remember. Ah, oh, blaze. Uh, blaze powder. We have blaze powder. But it's interesting it didn't give us a heat source. No. Yeah, it doesn't... Okay, uh, there is a rustic book. Do I have it in my backpack? Herbivore Almanac. Should have done that first, didn't think about that. Production, uh, alchemy. Uh, water, oh. Maybe I need to put water in the glass bottle. That might help. Uh, do we have... Did I put a water... No. No water source. Oh, is this all frozen over? I hope not. be really annoying if it has. Right. Oh, okay. I've got to put buckets of water. Did it? That didn't show me buckets of water in the recipe, did it? Oh, okay. So I need 125. I have enough. So, will the coal work then? Yes. Okay, we needed water. Well, that wasn't very clear at all. Oh, it's got it's got particles. Ooh, it it looks funny. It changed oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Do we get a ding? Thank you. All right, so we have we finished rustic. Wow! All right, we're doing we're doing pretty good. So we have to do now roots, immersive engineering, astral sorcery, and botanica. Botania, sorry. All right, I don't. It, roots. We did the. Oh, I I don't think I'm ready for roots yet. Immersive engineering. Um, we can make the stuff. I don't know if I want to actually. Oh, is the scanner part of immersive engineering? Oh, it's scannable. Okay. Scanner might be interesting. Astral sorcery. We haven't done anything with astral sorcery. That might be a good one. And Britannia. 
I, I don't know which one to get. I don't know which one to do. Um, whatever we do, we need to clear more space. I might have to level out this hill behind us. Or level out. Actually, here should be okay. This is pretty level. This is pretty level. Let's see, what Britannia flowers, what do we... Because Astral Sorcery, you have to do stuff at night. I know that, which is why it's called Astral Sorcery, because, you know, like stars and stuff. Uh, what do we get? Uh, more terrain, ter terrariums. Okay, let's put all of this away. A block of iron and a redstone torch. Um, well, we've gone halfway through immersive engineering. We might as well finish off stuff because we don't have to use them. And from my Autonotom series, I'm finding that uh, the power in immersive engineering, you can't really use it with anything else. So if I'm not, um, if I can't get power generated from wind or from the water, because the water keeps freezing over, then I, although if I'm, if we make the water wheel, it might, it might just keep going. I don't know. I don't know. But we could wait for springtime before we start that, I think. So, in that case. But we can still do the little things. Like the scanner. The scan all the things. We'll see what we can do. Because it's the, um, the improved bass furnace. Some of this stuff you need the power generator. But let's, let's see what we can do. So, right. The scanner. We can do the scanner. Let's do that. I keep running from immersive engineering. I might as well just get it done and out the way. Scanner. And we probably need a blank module as well. Uh, common ores. So the scanner, basically, you charge it, you right click it, and it will show you which ores are in the, are around. Also, you can scan for, you have a range scanner, so it increases the range of your scan. You can scan for animals, for monsters, common ores, rare ores, uh, blocks. So you can use it to, you can use that to configure the, the, the module. You can scan for nearby structures, so villages and such, fluids or entities. And it wants to make a or common or scan or common or module. So I think we're probably going to need a blank. Yeah. Blank scanner module. What are we missing? There's no green dye. Is it only green dye? Uh, all right. We have cactus, right? Right, let's smelt this up as well and get some cactus green. I should really change this to an ender chest and just let it go in. Um, ender chest. Hold on, let's just make this first and then I'll make an ender chest. Scan a module and a piece of coal. Ding. Thank you. And claim a loot chest. Put that into charge. Is that charged? I think it's charged. Yep, it's fully charged. So you shift right click to open it. 
and then you can put in your module you can store your inactive modules here as well um, we should make the range module range module or nodule that's it module right uh, ender pearl so we want that and an ender pearl and we should probably use do the rare ores as well so you want another blank and i think you can have up to three at one time Uh, we want that. All right, shift right click. So rare ores and range. And then you right click, that so will charge. It sends out a pulse and then you can see the colored blocks and the different colored blocks mean different things. So if we go underground, let's go underground. Let's go down in, thank you. Let's go down in the mine. Okay, let's go this way. So right now we have nothing. If we look this way, charge it okay there's some what looks like what might be redstone right there below us there you go redstone so you can use it to find certain things and then that i think that's diamond it just shows you what's there it doesn't show you like lava or anything so obviously you've got to be very careful okay let's have another look are we any closer all right right here yeah it doesn't really oh this is really dark suddenly occurred to me Right, right in front of us. No, it should be here. There you go. Diamonds. And there's also um, lava below us. But there's diamonds. So if we stick some dirt there. Like I said, it doesn't... Sh doesn't show you and of course now that we've closed it up there's no light it doesn't show you what else is there so you know you've got to be very careful but it does show you where different ores are so that's that does this show up whatever that is peridot yes it does it shows off as light blue so it can be very handy when you're looking for a particular thing you can see at least you can you have an idea of where to find it and also did we make no shift so if we look if we make the village one or the entity one because the entity one might be The entity one might be um one worth doing if we need to find although we have chickens and cows and everything else i mean obviously it's not going to find monsters because we're playing on peaceful but um you know if you had to find enderman or something and you didn't have 
journey map or you just why why you didn't want to go up i don't know but if you didn't you know if you had to find stuff you could do it okay right so that's the scanner uh ender chest what are we missing nope that white wool we have no white wool okay do we have shears we do let's go shear some sheep hey sheepies i need some wool thank you thank you no you're a cow you're not going to give us wool if i thought you'd give us wool then you i would be the most rubbish farmer ever and you you got wool thank you thank you thank you more from you are you a cow or a sheep you're a sheep what are you you're a sheep all right that's plenty um and the chest i should have kept one and of course we could have just made wool from um string didn't think about that but we had the sheep outside it was fine and i don't think i have um i don't have a, a code on this no it's still white it's all white so they're all connected so whatever i put in here will end up in our system you've got to love an ender chest i love an ender chest from ender storage brilliant thing right uh we did claim oh scan all the things oh oh we had to make two port a capacitor backpack um some of the more helpful scannable modules use a capacitor backpack from immersive engineering to charge your items in your inventory that's interesting okay um what was the other two modules uh block scanner module block and capacitor backpack so uh block that's that and capacitor backpack can we make that what are we missing lv capacitor we have and we have everything else capacitor backpack okay so we can charge it in there we can put our block module no shift i keep forgetting i need to shift and that should be done or you could put it in the bauble slot body oh nice so how, does it um so how does it charge things energy stored is it charging things slowly i don't understand how it's charging stuff well you can't do anything with it it's charging okay Uh, to charge items in your inventory. But it's not saying how... It doesn't say how it does it. I don't know. Okay. Maybe it does it slowly over time. Oh, yeah. Oh, when you hold it it charges it because now that's yeah now that's fully charged 
this isn't charged but then if i hold it and then have a look that's now fully charged okay so when you hold it it will charge it oh that's cool that is very cool so um oh that took a lot out of us though burn it but that's fine we could look at other generators but you know what we don't have a lot of power requirements so um so yeah that's fine but anyway it's it's that time it's the end of the episode that came really fast but we've done quite a bit we finished the rustic mod um we are making a dent on the immersive engineering i might as well get it out the way and um after immersive engineering we will go with a magic mod because we haven't done you know we haven't done any like proper magic mods yet so we will do that and before we go let's see gunpowder string and bone and clay yeah nothing nothing of interest so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching Bye bye